So Stephen and Laura would like to thank you all for coming to celebrate the beginning of their new life together as husband and wife. Family and friends have come to be with them today and it means a great deal to them that you can be here to share their happiness and witness their marriage vows. Stephen and Laura, the purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care for and support each other through the joys and sorrows of life. Marriage means making a commitment to life, to developing and maintaining cooperation, friendship and mutual respect. It calls for trust, understanding and encouragement. Stephen and Laura have found in each other happiness, fulfilment and love. And as a consequence of this, they now wish to affirm their relationship and to offer each the security which comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made and faithfully kept. And we're going to begin the ceremony with a reading given by Dawn. <laughs> if you live to be a hundred, I want to live to be a hundred minus one day. <laughs> Sorry, so I never have to live without you. Piglet sidled up to Pooh from behind. Pooh, he whispered. Yes, Piglet. Nothing, said Piglet, taking Pooh's hand. I just wanted to be sure of you. We'll be friends forever, won't we, Pooh? Asked Piglet. Even longer, Pooh answered. If ever there is tomorrow when we're not together, there is something you must always remember. You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. But the most important thing is, even if we're apart, I'll always be with you. This room in which we are now assembled has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. You are here to witness the join together in matrimony of Stephen Richards to Laura Hattersley. Do you give Laura into the care and security of Stephen for the rest of her life? Thank you. So Phil, hopefully you've still got those rings. You'd like to put them on the cushion. <laughs> I promise to love for you, care for you, and always be there for you. You're my best friend. I promise to fetch the remote control <laughs> from the other side of the room, even if you left it there. I promise to make you cups of tea, even if you just walk past the kettle. I promise to not watch the Bake Off or Apprentice without you, even though I really want to. I promise to wash the pots, <laughs> even though you've left them there two nights before. <laughs> <clears throat> I promise to uh, not watch any unnecessary football, <laughs> unless of course it's Derby, England, <laughs> Premier League, <laughs> Championship, <laughs> League One or League Two, <laughs> occasional Spanish football, <laughs> Italian football, <laughs> and the conference. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I promise to put my phone down when we're watching a film together. Well, at least I'll try to. I promise to love and care for you, Millie and Rube, for as long as I shall live, because you are all extremely important to me. I promise to care for you in sickness and in health, unless it's self-inflicted, <laughs> or I've just kicked you because you're snoring. You know me better than anyone else in the world, and yet you still manage to love me. You are my best friend and my one true love. And there's still part of me today that I cannot believe that I'm the one that gets to marry you. I love you. <laughs> so, having made the prescribed declarations in the presence of myself and all your witnesses here today, I now declare you to be joined together as husband and wife. And now you can do <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never been too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's having the mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together and facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the, in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it is being the right partner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.